I said Drake made uh, Rick Ross, right? Yeah, that was crazy. So, so hold up. That was crazy. So hold up. Same thing. What Drake say on his on 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 a track? Say, no, it, of course Drake. Of course he's gonna say that, so, bro. It's a diss record. It's so meant cool. to diss so, people. So, so that just gave me confirmation that I wasn't like tripping. Nah, you're, no, no, yeah, absolutely tripping. I'm gonna. All right, look. Let, let me let's so let's, let's tripping, break it down. Let's, so, let's, so, all right, so let me let me let's say, break when it I say down tripping, real quick. When I say tripping, right? Just because you're on the same page as the nigga that you right. That so, don't mean, so when I say tripping, in my mind yeah. I'm thinking like you just totally left field. Yeah. If I was totally left field, nope. It's clearly other people who think that. Yeah, but but they're tripping too. So oh, okay, so let, okay, let, okay. No, for real, <laughs> let, let's just keep it. No, let's I'm gonna call a spade a spade, bro. Rick Ross, before we heard hustling, bro, this nigga was writing for Trina. He was on features with Trina. This nigga grinded his way up. When we first heard hustling, and it was a big record, right? Mm -hmm. Even when we heard Maybach music, Drake still wasn't a thing. When you if you go to Port of Miami, then you go to Trilla. Even fucking deeper than rap, Drake still was not a thing. Drake was not a thing. By 2009, that was a thing. These records I just talked about was 06, 07, and 08. That's consistency. By that time, Drake had already, I mean, Rick Ross had already had features with Nas, Jay-Z, Nelly. You know what I'm saying? Hit records on every album. He was in the middle of a beef with 50 Cent. With Now, antics, yes. If people want to count antics, 50 won that war. Battle-wise, bars, Ross spanked him. Mm -hmm. Now, Drake becomes a thing. Drake comes out. Now, he was dropping shit, but he became a thing in 2009. Oh, yeah. Then 2010, he's running it, right? Then we start getting records with Drake. This nigga had a career way before we even knew Drake existed. So, so now look. Yes. Drake's records, every, every song, every song you ever heard this nigga on that wasn't his... Help the person. I never disputed that. And that's all I was saying. But that does not, but you said he made him. Yeah, that might have been an exaggeration. No, no, that's, no, no, no. It's not <laughs> just an exaggeration, my nigga. That is left field. That's left field. You said the same thing about Future. And he's helped Future. So and I Drake, so and again, Future I has be, helped Drake. So I might have been exact. Okay. And I've Future been, has helped Drake. We're not sure. going to say that. Yeah, we're not going to say that. We're not going to say that. We're not going to say that. Future that is, nigga, bro. I might have been exaggerating. But I mean, it's it's fun and games for six and giggles. It like, is. I, so, yeah, so, yeah. so when I say like, yo, Drake had a big impact on Rick Ross' career, I think that's true. Drake had a big impact <sighs> a big, on future on future career, and I think that's true. A big impact. I mean, yeah. Let me tell you this. They, they've so, done, so, they've so done, as a you I'll are fall. again, mm -hmm. you are like a, a hip hop specialist, so to say, right? Uh, you, so, you people say that, and, and and I think I like to say when I say I speak for the people, I think I speak for like the consumer, somebody that's not ingrained in it as you. All right. Outside of Atlanta. All right, I'm going to tell, you, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, who, who, who I speak for after you, you finish. You speak for the hip-hop here. No, I don't sure. only speak for hip-hop. Go ahead. So I feel like Future, right, from me, mm -hmm. from a consumer, I think, like, of course, down south, Future had his, his hand on the game, especially when you talk about Dirty Sprite, right? I wasn't a big fan of Dirty Sprite. And when Dirty Sprite 2 came out, it made me, like, it, it kind of made me, like, wow, like, I, how can this guy make the same... How can this guy that made Dirty Sprite 1 make Dirty Sprite 2? That's how it was for me. It was so different for me. And around Dirty Sprite 2 was the same. It was around the same time, if I'm not mistaken, when he dropped the uh, the project with Drake. Am I not? If, I, if I'm, if I'm, it was 2015. So that what right there. What time to be alive was 2015. But a lot of a lot of future projects came out around that time. Uh, and Monster Dirty Sprite was, 2 came out what? 2015. Yeah. So um, Monster came out uh, 2014. Um, but see, this is why I got to, bro. This is why. I, all right. Let me tell you who Let I, me finish my Go point. ahead, go ahead, finish. So I say that to say it shows me it, the influence Drake had on, on Future's music and mm. the impact that he that he played when he started to work with Drake. Okay. So like in my eyes, I'm like, bro, I never liked Future until he started ganging up with uh with Drake. The same thing, and, and I know niggas in the hood are gonna hate me for this, but the same thing with Lil Dirk. I wasn't really a big fan of Dirk until... He started making music with uh with Drake. The same thing with Twenty One Savage. I wasn't the biggest Twenty One Savage fan <laughs> until he started making music with Drake. Listen, I'm happy that you're honest, bro. But you listen, I'm, I'm happy. Home. Yeah, bro, you don't even understand. All right, so look, you you finish? Yeah, go ahead. Go all right, let me tell. Right, I'm gonna tell you what I speak for. I'm a block nigga, bro. Regardless to anybody who think, oh, Wayne, oh, you corporate, you this, you that, you the third. I'm from 119th and Lexington Avenue. Mm. 1900 to be exact, zip code 10035. That's why I learned how to be a man. I'm a, I'm a block nigga. So regardless to if you might catch me in, in Whole Foods, or you might catch me at Costco, a Target, 
Or you might see me in Trader the, in Joe's. The, Trader Joe's. That's my <laughs> fucking spot, bro. Trader Joe's my spot. Recognize that regardless of how far I come, I'm a black nigga. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. When I say I speak for, you say I speak for the hip-hop heads. Mm -hmm. The hip-hop heads. They are them. Wait a second. Them ter that term, them hip-hop heads, they don't fuck with Future. They don't fuck with Future. They don't fuck with Future. They think Future's trash. They think Future can't hold the candle to certain people. They think Future is everything that's been wrong with hip-hop. Now, when you said he was popping down here, I got to beg to differ. Because I'm a block nigga. And I'm from I'm from 19th and Lex. Even though I I, I lived the, I lived in Harlem River Projects, on the 7th Ave side and on 8th Ave side, and I spent a lot of time around you know living near the Polo Grounds, all that type shit. Neither here nor there. But what I mean by that, bro, is this: Future make music for niggas who are um getting to the bag, but still going through the struggle. Where my twin at? Where my twin at? I gotta keep saying that song. The reason why "Where my twin at" is such a a harsh, a hard record for me, because when because when he said "Where my twin at," he in the courtroom, right? One of my best friends just took a crazy plea deal, free my brother, feel me? And when I heard "Where my twin at," regardless of how much records future, because future didn't fucking he didn't impacted the streets, he didn't impacted the pop world, he didn't he wrote "Drunken Love" for fucking Beyonce, bro. That nigga still made with my twin at. So when I listen to, when I hear what you saying and you said, now, Drake, you know what I mean? That's when I started getting on to him. Bro, Future did it, and Kendrick alluded to that. When it was time for Drake. Now listen, Drake had the, he, he always got the chicks. He had the chicks since day one. Still got them. But when it was time to get that street edge, nigga had to do a whole tape with, with, with Pluto. You feel me? Um... And I feel like as much as Drake, yeah, because his celebrity did help Pluto out, Pluto gave him that cosign that niggas where he could start talking differently. Mm -hmm. If you go at, if you listen to Drake's music, now I think um, uh, Drake has always alluded to like, you know, I wouldn't say not, not necessarily street shit early on, but he had little instances where he, Talk some type of tough street bravado. Every rapper does it. Yeah. Every every rapper does it. Even battle rap, everybody does it, right? But when he got with Future, it went to another level. You feel me? Now, when he started working with Savage, you know what I mean? Went to another level. That cosign from Atlanta, that cosign from the streets, helped him tremendously. And if you look at each iteration of each year when he's presenting himself, it changed him a bit. Start dressing different. Even now to Yachty. You know what I mean? Not going to act like Yachty ain't, you know what I mean? Put no work in. Even now to Yachty, his influence with him. And I think it it, it cross-pollinates. Because, it, and I'll say this too. It was the same with J.D. Kiss and Beanie Siegel and them, um, State Property and D-Block and them. Sure, like, even, I've heard, because you would know this more than me, but like, Drake career seems, I can't say that. It seems like similar to like what, what people accuse Jay-Z of doing. It seems similar. Like when Jay-Z came on, yeah. he started making music with uh niggas down south, Bum B. Niggas ain't like that. Niggas say some people I've he didn't heard start some, doing that. I like you he say, didn't he didn't that wasn't until his fourth album. Well, not in a but I'm saying like these are Critic critiques that yeah, I, heard I mean people, people call Jay he, but there was a whole thing. You're not a biter, you're a writer, and yeah, all then, of that then shit. People say he stole uh niggas from state property, uh Flow, like, yeah. niggas from Philly. So yeah. I've like I've heard this, mm -hmm. and it's similar to to Drake. And I feel like I mean their paths it seems linear in, in that in that perspective. I mean naturally, bro. It's like even with me, once me and you started kicking it, we started recording and shit together. You more conscious of your pauses. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So anybody is going like anybody that's around each other, you naturally going to rub off on another pause. You feel me? That was crazy. Man, <laughs> I mean, that was wow. That was, I paused it though. See? Damn. But um, you, you naturally going to like take things. You feel me? Like the thing with the whole, and I was there for the Jay-Z state property era. You know what I'm saying? Like young Chris was the young, young guns. They were, you know, shouts out to my brothers, the young guns, you know, they just had the 25th, the 20th anniversary, um, of their album, tough love. You know what I mean? That impacted a lot of people. Everywhere, and I was a part of that album. Ryan Press, Chad, Chad West, you know what I mean? No Better Love, man. 20 years. Think about that record. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when when he, when you got to think, Jay from Brooklyn, when he got around state property, he even said on a song, Big, you had the mafia. Me, I got the property. 
got a lot of these fake families out here copying. You feel me? Like he was influenced by them and it it, it worked both ways. They got from him, he got from them. So I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna like take nothing away from from Drake because he got around certain niggas and made certain type of music. You feel me? It did wonders for Metro Boomin produced that whole album. Bro, I was talking to Metro Boomin. Shout out to Metro Boomin. I was talking to Metro Boomin before he moved to Atlanta. He's from St. Louis. Mm-hmm. When I start, we was, was talking over Twitter. You feel me? So that helped. It Drake has helped a lot of people in a lot of different ways, but it's not one way. That's why I just be trying to get you to understand the way that he has helped. 